One Friday Fights 85, Yodlik Pick versus Puang Luang is live from Lupini Stadium, Bangkok, Thailand. This Friday, 1st of November at half past two South African time. Main fight breakdown next in Fighting with Friends. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the CPS Report. It's your boy, brother Gary, with another fight breakdown of Yodle Pek versus Puang Luang, who is the main event of one Friday Fights 85. It takes place this Friday at half past two, first of November, South African time. Let me get straight into it, ladies and gentlemen. So, this card is again another fresh green card in terms of a lot of debutants. Um, but I'm going to be taking and uh, spending most of my focus on the main event. Because these are the two fighters that I kind of recognize. Um, the list of the fight card is fairly new to me. So if you have any any pointers, any updates, anything that I don't know, or anyone that I should look out for on this main 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 card or this fight card, please let your boy know in the comments. I'd love to hear from all of you. All right, let's get straight into it. <clears throat> Excuse me for that deep deep sigh. I'm just been recording so many videos <laughs> that's going to be coming up for for the. For the build up of the next one championships major major card 169. All right, in this fight, we've got Yodlik Pek versus Puang. I hope it's like Puang Luang, right? I wait Muay Thai. So, firstly, I'm happy that this is not a catch weight fight. I'm happy that it is in a division. So, that means there is quite a big stake for this fight. For this fighters in particular, that means that the winner here can definitely climb the ranks and make themselves potentially get that $100,000 contract, <clears throat> becoming the latest. And solidified fighter on the roster. Okay, first things first, your leg pick. Fantastic fighter. Love the way the guys fight. He's recorded the one championship right now. He's five wins, three losses, and zero no contests. He's got one win by KO and three wins by TKO with a 60% finishing rate. His last fight, he lost to Kong Suk by unanimous decision. And the fight before that, he beat Kamahut by unanimous decision. And a very good noticeable win as well is a, a win over Dennis Purich and Silvio Vitez, who we were literally just fought last week, um, <clears throat> which those are really, really good. Uh, Puang Luang, his record at one championship is seven wins, one loss, and zero no contest. He's got three wins by KO with a 43% finishing rate. He beat Saman, uh, Saming, Yang, Saming Dam in his last fight by unanimous decision, and he also lost to Zhao Suyai by KO. Prior to that fight, and then prior to that fight, he beat Pit with Chet, who fought last week as well. So, as you can see, both these guys are, are, are knockout specialists. Both of them got very good finishing rates. Uh, like I said, both of them has got three wins by KO. So, I expect this fight to be an all out banger pretty much from the first round. And that's pretty much because Yodlik Pick isn't the kind of fighter that. Uh, takes a while to get going he kind of establishes his dominance from the first from the first minute he looks to rip the body being the shorter fighter he's going to rip the body with extreme hooks deep really well maybe get some extensive low kicks set up those those hits to the body maybe even then head out a little bit later later in the fight if it goes that that, that long uh uh Piang luang i think he's a bit taller but quicker um we saw in the last fight uh yodle picks last fight he got outstruck by kong Suk. And that's kind of a blueprint on how to beat someone like Yodlik Pick because if you kind of stay in there and uh, you almost go tit for tat, strike for strike, and not necessarily put the pressure on him, he's probably going to knock you out or get or get, get to beating you because you know he throws some power strikes. Whereas, like I said, the blueprint to beating Yodlik Pick is to just overwhelm him and, and just volume strike him to the point where he doesn't really have anything going back or, 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 or can answer that volume. And I think that's the best chance that uh, Pung, uh, Puyang La, Pung who Yang Luang is going to present in this fight is that he's going to come in and pretty much use that reach, establish his jab, maybe get some elbows when they get in tight because that's a good link pick's going to try and obviously close that distance. And that's when I expect Hu Yang Luang to sort of throw those elbows to sort of, you know, get, get your link pick stepping back and, and rethink how he's going to enter the pocket. Um, so it's going to be a matter of distance management from uh, Hu Yang Luang and it's going to be Yodlik Pek looking to obviously close that distance and land his knockout blows. The winner of those fights, obviously, like I said, is going to be able to establish themselves a lot further in the rankings of the flyweight division. And in the one championship, it's very difficult to bet uh, against the fight going 
uh, going uh, uh, ending in knockouts. Almost everyone, almost most of these fights end with finishes. So I'm looking forward to that. So my pick for this fight is I want to go with Yodlik. Yodlik pick just because I think he's got the knockout power and he's gonna you know close the distance, maybe get that body shots going. But it's gonna be a tough, tough, tough battle for him uh, because of the of the height and 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 um, reach advantage that uh, Puang Luang is going to have. And also, he's going to be obviously be trying to move more frequently and, and have, that, have that high volume because that, like I said, was the blueprint that Kong should put on when he beat your dick pick. Uh, it was a, he didn't fight last week, obviously, because the Kong should fought last week. I think it was like a few, uh, either a month or two before that. Uh, it was much it was earlier in this year where, they, where these guys had that, that, that face. And, and, and like I said, the blueprint was set from Kong Suk. So... I'm still going to go with Yodlik Pick for this one. I think he's got it within him to do it because it's hard, it's hard to knock out. It's hard to put away. He's got very good conditioning. So you, you, you can expect him to come at you every single round, especially as the rounds go on. You can, you can expect him to you know, up that volume, up that ante. So I'm going to go with Yodlik Pick to get the job done, possibly get the finish in round two or round three. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that one. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like I said, I'm just, I'm just going to scroll down the scroll down the list of fighters and I would love for you guys to just to give me uh, pointers in the comments. Who do you think is going to be standout fighters of this event? Um, I was you know we got uh, another guy from Myanmar. Tai, was it Tai Wei Lin Tit? Lin Tit? I can't pronounce it. Love to hear you guys pronounce it. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing that 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 showdown for sure. Um, Toyota. Yeah, don't know much about the list of these. these a lot of these faces look very new to me. Um, look at this guy. This guy's got like the coolest look on the card. Robson the Oliveira. I'm gonna look at that because it's also MMA, so that's gonna be quite exciting as well. Um, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is my time. Like I said, I'm only gonna be doing the main, the main card. Um, uh, excuse me, the main event because it's the two fighters that I do know. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about who you think is gonna get the job done in the main event, as well as some noticeable fighters to look out for on this card. Again, if you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed the content, we're almost on our first 700 subscribers. Looking forward to that. Uh, but you can catch this fight card. It's one Friday fights 85 from Lupini Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand, 1st of November 2024 at Hopos 2 South African time. It will be live on the One Championship YouTube channel. So I'll put the links in the description to that and look forward to getting to hear your banter. Uh, about this fight card you can also catch us recapping this fight card the following day uh, which will be the saturday morning in south africa which will most likely be the evening time for all the thai people as well as myanmar all our basically our asian viewers um but listen gentlemen that is my time like i said you can catch us on the next one and i'm um, also looking forward to doing the one 169 card that's going to be a absolute banger of an event on that note, enjoy the fights this weekend. Looking forward to catching you all in the comment section. On that note, stay safe, stay blessed, and we'll see us in the next one. Peace.